Welcome back, friends. Here's what we're gonna do. We're about to make a dinner, and it's gonna be so warm and yummy, too. Okay. What's a best? Welcome back to the channel today. We are making meatball subs. So we got the meat in a cake pan, which we use ground beef, uh, veal, and pork. And it's a mixture. Usually Walmart or BJ's has the mix. And then we're going to use some breadcrumbs. Here, I can show them up first. Some of these breads. Drop in two eggs because I'm doing a lot of meatballs. Because tomorrow it'll be spaghetti and meatballs and sausage. Yeah. It's a busy week. No threat. Nothing was harmed. <laughs> You can see everything good. Last, last video, we didn't do so good with that. Okay. All of it. Mm -hmm. it all together okay. which are clean I'll let you go first the oven set at 375 do you want me to mash up the mm -hmm. all of it gets mixed right in there I never mash me before <laughs> you're so weird came in it's like 60 i think 68 the last i looked so it's a good day for that warm good stuff in your belly so you go along with whatever he wants that depends on what it is choices in the summer i don't make too many i don't really make big meals in the summer we eat a lot of sandwiches and burgers and hot dogs and steak Cheese. Well, I don't get much steak, but and I don't you, you get and venison I steak. Yeah. All the time. I appreciate everything. eat a lot of venison. We eat a lot of meat in general. All right, it's your turn. Okay. You don't want to over mix it either because it'll make your meatballs tough. And you kind of fold it in. That's good enough because, like I said, you don't want to over mix. And I'm making them nice and big for the meatball subs. And for spaghetti and meatballs tomorrow. Nice and big. You don't need a close up of me. Ah, no! <laughs> don't do it! 
just a little bit. Any more? Use your plastic brush. Any more? Yummy. Am I making you have something else? That's bad. If everybody go on about my meatballs, and I really don't do much other than make sure you get the right meat combination. Want to make a couple? Sure. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna throw some sausage in there too for tomorrow's meal. <laughs> But so then I'll make it. Uh, I'll eat a little you chunk out of there. Yeah. Let's say a little less than a uh, baseball. Meatball for each person. <laughs> Maybe two. Yeah. What would you guys uh, have for dinner tonight on a rainy, cold day? At home? It would probably be just me. Yeah. This job's cooking. <laughs> yeah. Mom's working. And then basically every night we have meat. He doesn't get the side dish part down. Oh, uh, sometimes. Some ginormous meatballs. Tasty. Make sure you get the meat mixed right. And it will not disappoint. Oh, and I love Rayo's sauce. Love it, love it. Shout out to them. Eat. No sponsor, nothing. It's just my favorite sauce. Like, okay, sponsor us. Mm. We're not that lucky yet. <laughs> no, uh, no, we're just a little channel in the big world out there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Said. I would say that the uh, meatballs probably about 45 minutes in the oven at 375. 
be washed your hands. Do you do too? Yeah, stop and well, I know. Do you want me to try to separate them? Huh? Yeah, well, I'm going to separate them. because the skin's Finished up cutting them and put them in with the meatballs, and we'll see you when they're done. So we got these two sauces, and we're gonna mix them up in the pan. And I use both. Um, I don't think I can open it. Oh, look at that! What are put a little baby muscles to it? <laughs> Anyhow, I use both uh, marinara and uh, vodka sauce because it helps decrease the acid if you have a trouble with the acid. Still a lot coming out. Looks to wish. My famous last words. Well, like I said, I swear by their sauce. I think I can open this one. Boom. All right, now we got the other one. <laughs> Mix them right up together, and they make a great combination. All right, there was that one, and then we're going to mix them together. And let them simmer while the meats are cooking. Yes. Now she is just flipping them. I would say about halfway through. Mm-hmm. Mm. So we're just going to flip all of them. And then we're going to let them cook. About another 20 minutes. Yeah. And then we'll add them to our sauce to finish cooking. Yes, and the sauce is just simmering while she's flipping them. So, yeah. There's that. <laughs> yeah. Technical difficulties. I am going to... <gasps> oh! I almost lost my sausage. Almost... There's still one leaf. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> I'm Picked done. In Throwing in the towel. Oh, yeah. So I only cook the meatballs enough to get all that grease off. I don't want it in my sauce. I know some people cook it right in their sauce. But you can see there's still a little pink. So I will finish getting it cooked inside the sauce. Along with the sausage. And I'll... Simmer for about another hour, and then we'll be ready to, for spaghetti and meatballs. Or subs. <laughs> okay, and then we just added two more cans of regular tomato sauce sauce. Because, as usual, I have more meat than I do sauce. <laughs> and then we added some basil. A lot of basil. That's probably good. And we mix it up and... So we're having the water boil so we could put in the angel hair noodles and we are um sauce is done yeah the sauce is done we're just mixing it up with them and then we're gonna finish off and make the plates or the bowls okay so we finished 
Uh, this is the finished result. So I'm gonna try it. It's good. We're really hot. <laughs> no, it's not hot. Very good. Can I have a bit? It's very good. It is very good. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. When the season does open. How did your scouting go? Freezing. Freezing? It is a little trip. I went over my boots twice. Yeah, the rain. Well, you made it back in time for dinner. I mean, Say bye, know. guys. Bye. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you always know when we post a new video.